Hello, I am Dr. Parvez Ahmad. Today, I am going to discuss about the mechanism of action of NSAIDs, that means the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs like aspirin, paracetamol, acyclofenic, and diclofenic like drugs. The mechanism of action this categories of the drug that is NSAID which inhibit the prostaglandin synthesis by acting on cyclooxygenase. Now, cyclooxygenase is a two types COX 1 and COX 2. Those prostaglandin which is formed by COX 1 which are helpful for gastrointestinal mucosa protection also helps in renal function also helps in platelet aggregation. So, these are the prosta, uh, function of the prostaglandin which are formed by the COX 1 and this COX 1 is a constitutional while COX 2 is a inducible, inducible and these are the uh, these prostaglandins which are formed by COX 2 which are responsible for pain, fever that means these are the all culprit for the pain, fever and inflammations. Okay. So, your drugs NSAID which inhibit the cyclooxygenase. Now, come to the point here plasma membrane, plasma membrane made up of phospholipid. After the injury, this phospholipid convert into archidinoic acid by the help of a enzyme phospholipase A2. This archidinoic acid again convert into prostaglandin by the help of a, a enzyme which is called COX. Now, your NSAID which inhibit the this cyclooxygenase and prevent the formation of prostaglandin. So, these are the complete mechanism of action of NSAID. Now, we have moved to the clinical uses of NSAID. Uh, 